What was intriguing uh, is the unique properties we were seeing when people were consuming AFA for a long time on a daily basis that we could not make scientific sense of at the time. But there were so many, so diverse health effects, so many improvements that we couldn't find a unifying factor for why is this happening. So when we started the research on AFA and systematically started studying what happens in people's bodies when they're consuming AFA on a daily basis, we found uh, some unique properties on the immune system. And what is really notably, what is really interesting to me is that the immune-related effects seem to be slightly stronger in the people who had consumed it daily for a while compared to people who consumed it for the first time. We published that back in 1999. It's one of the very first papers on AFA in the scientific literature. And the fact that there is that, it is not like your body gets used to it. On the contrary, it's like your body expects a daily dose and it goes, oh, yep, I know what to do. Um, from there on, beyond the immune arena, um, we had to sit around and wait until the year 2000 before we really had the scientific tools to understand the unifying factor of why we saw so many cases of repair. And that's where we came into the stem cell research. When we found that consuming AFA, different components from AFA uh, mixed together, what is currently in the product stem enhance, had, scientifically speaking, a very rapid effect on picking the stem cells to move around in the body and look for places to repair. So that's, that's that in a nutshell. Started the testimonials. Um, and you may think, why do scientists pay attention to testimonials? Well, that's how we start the process. When we have enough people come and say, you know, something happened here. And they start, we start to hear patterns. We have good reasons to go and look for, how can we explain that scientifically? Mm -hmm. So it started the testimonials on specifically around uh, in managing inflammation and people who were not otherwise sick, but they had some chronic pain problems, just getting rid of it. Um, so we started digging deeper into that from the scientific point of view for inflammation. And we took the product into the lab and explored in a number of very well-defined lab tests around different aspects of inflammation. And we found that it had a very strong anti-inflammatory effect. Then we took it back to the clinic and we did a number of clinical trials on Cyactive, specifically in terms of uh, reducing chronic pain problems uh, that were affecting just daily life in, in people, um, in people that were otherwise healthy. Um, and it was, we, we even published on a number of time effects and looking at both the uh, rapid pain reduction within a week and then how it kept improving over a month. And then at the tail end of that, we did another study on really pushing the dose to, to evaluate safety. And that is also published with good results. And what was, of course, <laughs> that because we were really pushing a high dose in that study, to demonstrate safety that we saw an incredible pain reduction. <laughs> it has a unique composition of synergistic compounds. Uh, it is a natural product that is so different from just popping a pharmaceutical pill that has a one on off switch action. You take Tylenol, you expect a little button to go on within five, 10 minutes. If you take the certain types of capsules, it better be quick. Um, from, from this point of view, it can also be relatively fast, but it is what is unique here is that we are not looking at a single drug and we are not looking in active at a single compound being responsible for all the activity. We are looking at 
the well-known phycocyanin, which is ma what makes it so blue and is such a well-known anti-inflammatory compound, natural compound. But there are other components in Cyactiv that are not phycocyanin, but have their own role in managing inflammation. There's a lot of scientific literature that claims to have studied pure phycocyanin and the mechanisms of action, but it is unclear from those scientific papers how pure the phycocyanin really was and to what extent they were having some of these other synergistic compounds in what they were working with. That is, that is um, unclear in the scientific literature. What we know, what we did, we took Cyactiv and we purposefully split it into the phycocyanin component and the non-phycocyanin component. And we use molecular filtration devices that filter on molecular size. And phycocyanin is a very large molecule and will stay on top. And everything else is going to the bottom. So we really physically separate phycocyanin from everything else that has synergistic effect. And we could test those two fractions in parallel in anti-inflammatory assays. And one of the things that really hit home with me was that the phycocyanin is a known COX-2 inhibitor, which is involved in some specific aspects of pain and inflammation. The other fraction of Cyactive that did not contain any phycocyanin whatsoever had completely different effect on inflammation, specifically to do with the lip lipoxygenase inset that is also involved in managing um, pain and inflammation. So when you say that you have uh, part one and part two, and they have two completely different activities, it's almost like trying to kill out the fire, the two different fire extinguishers that work in two different ways, that you really magnify the power of the anti-inflammatory effects. Mm -hmm.